Welcome to this next DVD, an hour on hormones. Hormones are so important to understand because hormone imbalance is something I personally went through. In fact, I started going through early menopause at the age of 39 and I was clueless. And also, if you're 65 and you think you don't need to know about hormones, you're wrong. So hormones is something we need to understand at any age and especially younger women need to understand hormones and how they can help balance them naturally when at all possible. So stay tuned because you're now in Dr. Lonnie's Learning Lab for the next hour and you've got your notes. Welcome, this is Dr. Lonnie Simpson and I'm here with one of my favorite people. We've known each other a long time. We're friends and colleagues, Judy Lane. Hi, hi Judy. Lon hi Lonnie and hi everyone. Welcome to our first webinar together, Hormones, Menstruating Years, Perimenopause, and Beyond. Here we are, and uh, certainly Judy and I, between us, Judy, how many years do we have between us? I don't know. Too many that we want to mention. Really a lot, like 60. <laughs> we used to work together in a multidisciplinary clinic back in the mid-90s, and I also had an osteoporosis clinic back then. So uh, we've, been, we've worked together for a number of years, and I consider Judy one of the top experts, period, on uh, hormones, hormone balancing. And uh, I've learned a lot from her over the years, and I hope you learned from me too. Absolutely, I have, and thank you for the compliment. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin going through some slides to give people uh, a good overview about hormones. And then we're going to get into some pertinent questions about hormone balancing that we both get from our patients. So first of all, we have the endocrine system. Uh, we have the hypothalamus, pineal gland, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, and you can read the others. And interestingly enough, the bones are even considered part of the endocrine system now because we know that the bones even produce hormones. What determines hormone balance? Uh, certainly genetics, uh, toxic load, exercise, stress and our ability to deal with it, emotional and spiritual well-being, a feeling of deep connection. Additional ones are poor diet, imbalance of fats, proteins, and carbs, poor food quality, fast foods, bad fats, processed carbs, uh, and poor digestion, environmental factors, lack of exercise, or too much exercise. And uh, we've certainly heard about those, Judy, you know, the peop some women who've had too much exercise, and why don't you explain how that can affect the uh, uh, hormones? Yes, for some women that does not turn out to be all that well because um, too much exercise can cause women to lose their cycles altogether. And when that happens, you create a hormone balance which is uh, detrimental to different parts of the body, but definitely for the bones too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we see women who have done that. Uh, and these are, we're talking excessive exercise with very, the results really in low body fat typically. Correct. Right, because we need that body fat and a certain amount of it so that the body, uh, female bodies actually recognize that we can handle having a menstrual cycle. So bioidentical hormones. This is something that there's a lot of confusion on.